Well, here comes Henry Shakel. She's a lovely boat. I know that because she's been so well looked after. She's the home of Paul and Rosemary, who have been working here and living here for the last few years. So they're moving on to new adventures. So she's been very well looked after. She was last blacked in May 2021. She was last serviced in September last year, but she's been very little used since. There was a full survey carried out on her in 2017. That's available in the office for viewing. She's just been polished. You can see the paintwork's looking ever so nice. She's 68 foot, built in 2009. She's a semi-trad. The hull was built by G&J Reeves and the fit out was by the same. Um, very well regarded builders. You can see the paintwork. Come up lovely. 68 foot gives you an awful lot of living space, to be honest. The restrictions on the canals are very few and far between. So for liverboards, I think they're very practical. The gas bottles are in the forward locker there. Two 13 kilos with a changeover valve. The cratch cover's in pretty good condition, actually. Nice glazed front doors. The well deck here is five feet long. Various storage boxes. You can see the lace around the cratch window there. There's from a couple of Paul's old knickers, actually. He believes in recycling. Storage in there. There is a bow thruster on board. It's a Nobles 309. There's two 140 amp hour batteries that power that. There's an anchor and rope there. And before I forget to say it, there's also an Axiom propeller on board, and the difference they make to navigation is incredible. In we go. She's fitted out in oak face ply with solid oak trim. The saloon, it's great space in here, 16 feet 4 inches long. Super comfy sofas and armchairs. It's a sofa bed actually, that sofa. A bit difficult to get in that cupboard with the chair there, but anyway, there's a decent sized cupboard. Storage under here. There's a Commodore. <laughs> He's having a good old look in there. Covered in there. Some lovely leaded glass cupboards on the port side here. There's a television opposite the sofa, that's a 24 inch Blaupunkt TV DVD combo. There's also a TV cable uh, aerial point in the, in the bedroom and a satellite box on the roof. That stove is a Stovax multi fuel stove, and there's the view down the saloon. Head height on board, six foot four. Lighting is mostly LED. There's a bit of halogen still on board, but it's mostly LED. Right, the galley, eight feet three inches long, so good space. Plenty of storage in here. The worktops are laminate. The cooker, you can see the four burner gas ring there. Oh, we'll go back here. Little drawer under there. A full burner gas ring and the oven is a Bowmatic oven and grill, all nice and clean. Cupboards and a drawer next to it this side. Opposite's another one of these shelving units. The fit out's nice, I have to say. The fridge itself is a 12 volt, 12 volt shoreline with an ice box. And down this side under the stainless steel sink, plenty of cupboard space. Quite a few drawers. And there's a the sink. I'm not sure I ever saw Paul at that sink. It was always Rosemary, I believe, but there we go. Who's to comment? Then there's a dinette area. This is the dining area. This actually turns into a a double berth, a crossways. I'll show you in a minute how it works. The drawers underneath both pull out to the other side of the boat and that, that becomes your base and there's a board in the saloon for the bed base thing. They don't have the cushions for the, they've never used it as a double berth, they don't have the cushions but that's all you need to get to make that functional. The dinette area is four foot six. Into the bathroom. It's a walkthrough bathroom, so plenty of space in here. Seven feet long actually. Ceramic sink in the corner there. There's a set for cassette loo there. There's three cassettes with that. And a bath over there with a shower over. 
You might have noticed a radiator there. There are four radiators on board. They're heated by an Aldi gas boiler. Good sized cupboard here. Three loo rolls look. A couple of years ago in lockdown they wouldn't have stayed on board. I can tell you they were worth a fortune. Then into the uh, into the bedroom. This is a lovely room actually. Nearly 12 feet long. Feels like a proper bedroom rather than a boat bedroom. Bit of an airing cupboard here. Another good sized wardrobe on the other side. So, I mean, it's massive, this room. The bed itself is uh, six foot three by four foot six, but it does extend to five feet. And with a sofa bed, <laughs> bumble. Sofa bed in the sitting room and the dinette conversion. You could sleep six on this boat. Yeah, really nice room. And being down at the back of the boat, you're nicely isolated. Some nice glazed doors here. Frosted glass. Another cupboard there. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, Commodore. A little utility area in the rear cabin here. There's a washing machine there, you could see. That's a Bosch Classics. There's the inverter. That gives you 230 volts. It's a 3 kilowatt inverter charger, Victron Phoenix. And there's the hot water tank in there. Hot water is heated by the engine, the Aldi gas boiler. There's also one kilowatt immersion heater on board. 12 volts on board. There's a bank of four 120 amp hour domestics. And one starter. And this is the rear semi trad cockpit. There's a view from the helmsman's position. And 230 volts. There's landline hookup and uh, the inverter, as I said. Storage under the bench seats either side. The engine's under here. It's an Isuzu 48. Hospital silencer. That's yeah, pretty presentable in there, I think. I mentioned a bow thruster, I think, at the start of the video. And under this bench sheet, the storage under the other one, and under here, the batteries are under there. Five of. Lovely outdoor spaces. There is a tonneau or back cover for this rear deck to protect it from the elements. <laughs> Bumble, get off the bed. We'll have another walk back through. The water tank's integral, 680 litres approximately. I think I said the hot water's heated by the engine, the Aldi, and there's an immersion heater. There is a galvanic isolation, a Victron isolation transformer on board as well. That's the posh version of a galvanic isolator. And she comes with all the necessary navigation equipment. Well, Henry Shakel, she's going to make somebody a lovely home. She's served Paul and Rosemary very well and will do so for, for the next custodians. So there she is for a further for further photographs, for a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboat.co.uk.